Bob, not Bob, written by Liz Garten Scanlon and Audrey Vernick, pictures by Matthew Cordell, published by Little Brown Books for Young Readers. To be read as though you have the worst cold ever. Bob, not Bob, written by Liz Garten Scanlon and Audrey Vernick, pictures by Matthew Cordell. Little Louie wasn't all that little. It wasn't like he needed his mom every minute of the day. Usually. Achoo! But when little Louie got sick, he felt littler than usual. Like maybe his mom should check on him kind of often, every three minutes or so. Today, little Louie's nose was clogged. His ears crackled and his brain felt full. He didn't know of what, but mostly his nose. It was disgusting. Little Louie didn't want to color or watch TV. He didn't even want to shoot baskets with wadded up tissues. All he wanted, besides maybe some hot chocolate, was his mother. Bob! called little Louie with his weird, all wrong, stuffed up voice. His dog, Bob, came running and slobbering. No, I want my Bob, not Bob, 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 Bob. Bob didn't know what to say to that. Little Louie's mother came to his bedroom door. Why all the yelling, pumpkin? asked mom. Little Louie let out a sad, I don't feel well and my nose is clogged moan. Uh... Okay, sweetie, let's see. It didn't matter what she was going to say. All little Louie wanted was his mom, but she had to get his sister from the bus. The next day, little Louie was even sicker. His lips chapped and his eyes gunked. As for his nose, you can't even imagine. So he just lay there getting hot and sweaty which sounded like hot and smetty. Who's hot and smetty? asked his sister. No, not smetty, smetty and hod. Tessa didn't know who smetty was, hod either. Mom would understand. Bob, called little Louie. His dog Bob came running and slobbering. No, Bob, not Bob. Tessa looked at him like he was cuckoo. So did Bob. Little Louie was starting to feel kind of cuckoo, and nothing seemed to help. I don't want my medicine. I don't want a bubble bath, and I don't want a nap. I don't want my medicine. I don't want a bubble bath, and I don't want a nap. I just want my Bob. Bob came running and slobbering. No, 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 Bob, not Bob. Little Louie was all mixed up. So was Bob. So was mom. She dropped the laundry and kicked off her shoes. She climbed in next to little Louie and pulled the blankets high. She held him close. Oh, Louie, she said. Oh, Bob, he said. Bob came running and slobbering. He jumped up on the bed with them and they lay there all afternoon, cozy as could be. And even though little Louie wasn't all that little, and didn't need his mother every minute of the day. Well, it was still awfully nice to have her there. Bob too. Little by little, Louie got better. His nose unclogged, his ears uncrackled, and when he yelled, Bob, it was because he actually wanted Bob. Bob came running and jumping and slobbering. And even though little Louie didn't actually need his mom every minute of the day, he thought it was awfully nice when she came running too. Did you call me? Achoo!